Hello fellow coders. In this video, we'll deploy the files we created from previous tutorial in a free web hosting site, Python Anywhere. Don't forget to like and subscribe. To start, you will need to register in Python Anywhere. I will leave in the description the link. Since I already have an account, let's proceed. Click the files link in the upper right. Click the my site directory. Note that this is the physical directory of your website. From here on, we will follow the folder structure from our previous tutorial. I will leave in the description the link of the previous video. As you can see the folder structure is similar to that of Python Anywhere. If there are no existing folder you can create it yourself. Now let's upload first the app.py in my site directory. Next, let's upload the index.html in templates directory. Then, let's upload the contents of the static folder. Note, just follow the folder structure from our previous tutorial. Right now, I will create the main folders under static, components, JS, CSS, and images. Under Components, I will create the folder subcomponents. The Components folder will contain our view components. Right now, I am uploading the dot .view components. Then, I will upload the CSS files. Here, I will upload the necessary images and icons. And lastly, I will upload the .js files. 
Always take note to just follow the folder structure from our previous tutorial. Now that we completely uploaded the necessary files, click the hyperlink, web, in the upper right. Here I am showing you that the base URL of our website will return the index.html. Now, click reload to apply the changes made. Note for your free website to continue, you'll need to click this link to extend its operation for 3 months. Now click the link to visit your base URL. And so it returned our index.html. Now, if ever there is no module Flask installed, you can go to console and open a bash console. We'll search the pip install command to install flask. I will copy it and paste it in the bash console. Installation was fast on my end due to I already run this command and already installed Flask. Now I will just reload the application and try again to access the base URL. So there was no problem and our sample website work as intended. Note our base URL is using HTTPS. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and happy coding. See you on the next tutorial.